Hello everybody. On the last video I did of the uh, garden update, I didn't really spend that much time in the greenhouse. I just showed a couple of things. I thought I would kind of do a more detailed uh, walkthrough of what I've got going on here, kind of what my plans are for this spring and summer. Uh, try to utilize this greenhouse and uh, I'm kind of wanting to do a few experiments in here. Uh, this spring and summer and and kind of kind of see if I can utilize this space uh, better than I have in the past I did show this one tomato here in my last video This is a Rutgers variety tomato and it was planted back in February and it's almost reached the top of the uh, the greenhouse here And if you look at the size of these leaves this thing has done wonderful for me That leaf right there is just almost the size of my hand and here's another leaf cut cluster here that's uh, pretty good size. This thing's done really well for me. As well as the fruit set on it hasn't been bad either. It's set its fruit uh, despite the temps that we get uh, in the afternoon here. Like I say, I do run a fan and that's always my concern in a greenhouse is the uh, is the fruit setting uh, when the temperatures get up. Here's another tomato here that I've started. And this has been in a uh, little strawberry pot that I had last year, and some of the strawberries have come back. I'm going to kind of let those coexist there and kind of see how they do. In here, it's a pretty controlled environment. I do fertilize uh, every couple of weeks and uh, really try to pamper what's in the greenhouse here. So uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem, but we'll see. And of course, my strawberry towers, I kind of briefly explained those uh, in the last uh, garden update. The one thing I have noticed with them is uh, my greenhouse runs north and south and I've noticed that the plants on the east side which gets the less amount of sun isn't doing quite as good. I mean they're producing fruit but the leaf size and the actual overall health of the plant doesn't seem to be as good. I suspect that's got something to do with the fact that uh, it's getting less sunlight. And of course the towers that are facing the west seem to be pretty consistent. And basically what I did is I went to the uh, hardware store and I picked up some 4 inch PVC pipe. I used the drain pipe. Uh, it's got a little thinner wall on it than the uh, Schedule 40 PVC does. And used a hose saw. And I did a hose spacing about every 6 inches and uh, and used bare, bare root plants just that I bought down at the hardware store and uh, within a week or two these things were coming out okay uh, basically I just come in and water from the top and uh, I use like a misting hose and I miss so that that water will slowly trickle all the way to the bottom that was one of my concerns when I first built these was are the top of the top plants going to get more water than the bottom plants but so far it hadn't seemed to uh, have been an issue Here's a couple more tomato plants I've got growing in here. These hadn't done as well as the uh, first two I've showed you. Uh, these I started out letting them just get bushy like like you normally do an unpruned plant, I guess. Uh, and uh, they just hadn't done as good in here in this environment as say a single single stem type tomato does. So I'm gonna try to rescue these a little bit and uh, and do something a little bit different with them. And of course, in the last garden update, I showed you the celery I had here in the greenhouse. It's outperforming the celery in the garden two to one uh, up to this point. I'm sure that once uh, uh, conditions get better out there, uh, we get a little more warmer soil temperatures and all, I think it's going to be just as good as this in here. And of course, the onions that I told you about in the last video that we kind of just stuck in this pot after we planted the uh, onions out in the garden that we had left over. Something new to me this year, my cousin Gary owns an awesome nursery over in uh, the town just east of us. And uh, Texas A&M has developed some olive trees uh, that are supposed to grow in our region, uh, in our zone. So I'm going to try this. Uh, my wife loves olives and, and I told her, I said, well, I said, we'll get you an olive tree. So uh, we're going to give this thing a shot. I'm at a toss up right now whether to grow this thing in a pot in a greenhouse bringing in and out as the climate changes or actually try to plant it out in the garden and try to uh, 
keep this thing protected. You know, we don't get extremely cold temperatures here, but we have those those times that we do from time to time get some cooler weather that might not be too good for this thing. Uh, I think if I remember right, it's rated down to uh, minus 10 degrees. Uh, that's rare here, but it's not un it's not unrealistic that we could have a winter that we could get some temperatures down that cold. But uh, I'm still tossed up. Uh, my gut tells me to try to plant it out and, and find some means to protect it, maybe on the south side of the house or a south you know wall or something, and then you know keep it pruned to a dwarf size or something to where you could cover it in the event you needed to but it's something I've still got to really continue my research and figure out but as for now uh, it's been transplanted into a larger pot and uh, we're gonna go from there this time last year uh, we uh, went to a uh, swap meet type deal flea market and and I bought a one gallon aloe vera plant and uh, we brought it home and it wasn't long that thing was busting out of that pot and and we separated it into a couple of more pots and it got really good and and uh and i thought you know what i could do the same thing i could sell these things so what we've been doing uh the last couple of months and and I, if i can figure this out i'm gonna try my best i'm not real good at, at that kind of the technology but if i can figure out how to get the picture off my cell phone that i took last night uh, basically what we've been doing is we we get old tin cans uh, uh, old Folgers coffee say from the 70s or something we, and we plant these aloe vera's in them and we take them up to where we sell some of our goods and uh, we've been doing really good selling them and, and that may give some of you guys an idea of make a little extra income or something in your area But that, that's been really profitable for us. Uh, this one here, in fact, I just uh, took last night and I uh, divided up an aloe vera plant that we had uh, in another pot and placed it in this bigger pot. And, and we're gonna do the same thing. We'll let this thing multiply and uh, plant it in some, some different containers, something that's kind of attractive and take it up and we're gonna sell it. And here's my little lemon tree I grew from a seed. Uh, some of the guys here on YouTube, boy, they make this look really easy. Uh, I'm not saying it's not easy. I planted three. I had one that actually survived. The first two came up. They sprouted. Uh, but this one's the only one that actually made it for me. Uh, we'll see. I know, you know, from what I understand, I probably won't get lemons for five or seven years off of this thing. But uh, just to come back and say I did this uh, is going to be kind of cool, I guess. Well, if I had a shot in here, I guess, uh, back in January and February, um uh, you, you couldn't hardly move around then i had tomatoes uh, uh several flats of tomatoes i had my peppers in here i had cucumbers and squash and and uh, a lot of the herbs that we've uh planted in pots and moved out but uh i wanted to kind of give you a, a more uh up you know update of what we've got going on in here right now at this moment uh it warms up in here in the afternoon when the sun comes out uh, right now I don't have the fan on we've kind of had an overcast day and a uh, little bit of a rainy morning but uh, I'm glad you watched the video and uh, appreciate the support I reach from this community uh, you guys have a great day we'll see y'all later